chance to finish off that Impala that Karula managed to catch last yesterday evening. Look at her tucking in. Now, while we watch Shongile, the princess, enjoying her breakfast, Kelsey, lovely to hear from you. You want to know, does each leopard have a preferred type of prey? To a degree, yes, although they're opportunists and there are no rules out here. So if they see something that they want to hunt and they can hunt, they'll take that opportunity. Um, generally, you'll find that it is sort of determined by size of the leopard. So it's the, the, the prey that they can take, the largest prey that Karula could take is usually something like this adult impala. However, there are leopards that do specialize. Tingana, for example, the father or potential father of Hosanna and Shongila and the dominant male leopard of this area, he apparently seems to have a f appetite for warthogs. Warthogs and artifacts, so I've heard, and on multiple occasions, we've actually seen him go underground into warthog burrows and come out with warthog piglets. So that's one of his sort of preferred sources of prey. And you'll find that different leopards specialize in different things. But as I said, there are no rules out here and these cats definitely don't read the textbooks. So they do what they want and they are constantly surprising, even us. And we've spent years and years out here getting to know these, getting to know individual animals. And they still manage to surprise us on a constant basis. Shongile tucking in using that carnassial shear at the back of her jaw, those incredibly sharp molar teeth to slice through. Now she's been eating meat since she was three months old and I will never forget the first time I ever saw Shungile. It was the most extraordinary moment. We were sitting with Karula who'd made an impala kill just like this one and the cubs must have been two months old at the time. So they'd just, just been introduced to meat. And we weren't sure, we, we thought they were there, but we weren't sure if we were gonna see them. And we were just about to leave when Karula started giving that contact call that a female leopard gives, sort of a ow, ow call. And we sat quietly and we waited. And of course, they were so shy when they were so small. And then out of the long grass came these tiny little, tiny little creatures, no, no longer than my forearm. And they, out they sort of slunk through the grass and went up to Karula. And then Shungile turned around and looked straight at me. And I'll never forget that moment with those gorgeous brown eyes of her. Uh, while Shungile tucks in, it sounds as though James is seeing some of their worst enemies. Their worst enemies in the